Hey y'all, my name is Lindsay and this is Thistle and Stitches. I haven't recorded a vlog in a couple weeks since Halloween, I believe. The time change and just everything else going on, I was a little bit preoccupied, but I'm ready to get back to sewing and I want to come back and work on some pants. So a little backstory. My place of employment does dress up days for certain holidays and we're allowed to dress festive. And so in the entire month of December we have red and green days and um, sweater days and, and whatnot. And I don't want to go out and buy anything to wear for this, but I do want to join in at least one day. So I am going to make something for that. I know technically it's still November and November should be a no Christmas kind of month. I actually wanted to make pants using Vogue 9189 and I'm going to make the full-size pants. Now I have made this pattern before five or so years ago and I made them horribly. I didn't change anything to the pattern. I don't even think I did the right size because I could not put them on the last time I found them. Thus I ended up donating them a while ago. So they were cute though. So I'm coming back around to this pattern and I'm going to do it the right way and I'm going to follow the instructions because that really helps. So as usual, I found myself at Joanne Fabrics um, and I did, I did already have this pants pattern in mind but I didn't know what I wanted. I know I didn't want a plain color fabric for it. I tend to be drawn to really like out there and I mean this isn't really out there. I ended up with this and since I got that fabric and it was only 25% off I wasn't able to use a real coupon, I do not want to cut into it without testing the pattern. So I've done that. I did buy some rather inexpensive suiting fabric to test out this pattern and then hopefully get some work, everyday work pants out of it. And these aren't finished completely because I got them to a point where I know that they fit comfortably and I'm going to finish those up later off camera. Oh, I have to sneeze. So I'm going to take my adorable fabric and my equally as adorable pattern and we're going to make some pants. Well, come on! Normally the next step I would show is me cutting out my pattern pieces, but this time I went out of my way to trace the pattern so that I could make any alterations onto this tissue paper version rather than messing up my original pattern just in case I wanted to use a bigger size later. So I'm taking two inches out of my front crotch depth and I'm just folding it over and taping it down.
next step in this, it wants you to sew down a portion of the pocket to the back left side of the pants. And then you're going to insert the zipper. I'm gonna take a minute and kind of show you how to do this, but I'm not going to sew down the zipper. I mean, I'm not gonna sew down the pocket because I want the zipper to go further down. So I'm gonna overcomplicate this a little bit because I just want more of an opening when I have the zipper in there. So I'm gonna do my best to show how I do that. I just figured out that my little hack that I was trying to do doesn't make any sense at all for this pattern. It, the zipper attaches to the pocket and the back pant portion. There's no part of the front that it attaches to because the zipper, I mean, the pocket pushes forward and it just doesn't make sense what I was trying to do. So I guess I am gonna just have to deal with having the shorter zipper and um, wiggling into it. Just It's it's not really an issue with the, the pattern, I don't believe. It's more just that my hips are a lot wider than my waist is. So I need a little extra room, but it's not that big of a deal. So I'm gonna go, <laughs> I just attached the entire zipper. I'm gonna go shorten it and do the pocket the correct way. So I guess I can go and show you how to do this correctly and not my weird hack that I didn't think through all the way. Here I've attached the pocket just at the very bottom, the maybe an inch or two, and then open it up and that's where we're going to want to insert that zipper. the zipper inserted into the side and the pocket. It wants me to sew down the rest of the pockets. And then it's going to have me sew up below that. It wants me to attach the front and back pieces together. Pockets are all attached and now we're gonna just stitch up those side seams. Now we have two pieces and these are the pockets not attached to each other yet. So this will be the side seam right here. And this is my crotch and it wants you to sew up the front crotch here and then the back crotch and then it'll have you sew the inner seam I wanted to go ahead and check the fit on these before I sewed the waistband on because I really don't want to unpick that if it didn't fit, but it seems to be pretty perfect. I'm only pulling it up because the waistband is not attached. I want it to sit where it's supposed to, but that two inches 
that I took out of this front line right here. Took out a lot of bagginess that I had. I think it tried to go down to here and it just was not flattering at all. All right, on to the waistband. I really need to write a script for myself because I just said, on to the waistband, and it's not waistband time. <laughs> these pants are not connected on the side, so I need to take these pockets and stitch along here. And that'll close up the, the side. And then, then I can add the waistband. Onto pockets. And then waistband. for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please go give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos from me, go ahead and click that subscribe button.